Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today tutorial is going to be about not just paper paper but rice paper as well. I'm talking about this uh, rice paper or spring roll wrappers and we are going to use both wafer paper and rice paper to make this beautiful ethereal light and I think bedding or spring inspired flowers. So let's begin. Okay, so start with our flowers and we are going to use wafer paper and we are going to use rice paper. Let's start with wafer paper because I think it's a little bit easier to manipulate and make flowers. I'm going to cut my wafer paper roughly in about inch and a quarter or three centimeter strips because that's roughly the size of my petals I wanted to make. It depends on your design and feel free to use any templates or colors, whatever you prefer. I usually just cut triangular shapes and then I shape my petals. And of course I saved all the scraps because if you saw any of my previous tutorials we made wafer paper velvet texture and also that's what I used to make my wafer paper glue. So I always have my little bowl here on the table to save my scraps. So let's start with this amount of petals and you will need some sort of petal shaper. You can use something like plastic spoons or I'm going to use my silicone mold. This is a half sphere silicone mold and I'm going to shape my petals on that. And for my petals I'm going to use my acetonic because it contains a little bit of glycerin and I find it makes petals softer and pliable for a longer period of time so it makes it a little bit easier to work with. And I'm going to paint on my petal just one at a time just to soften it. If you prefer to use a mini sprayer bottle you can do that for sure or if you wanted to use just a little steamer you can do that as well. I just paint on my petal on one side roughly rough side or smooth side it doesn't matter whatever you prefer and I just place it over on my petal former and it will bend and it will, it will naturally take on the shape of my former. So I'm going to make a few petals at a time and next step what I prefer to do when my petals are already soft and on the shaper I usually prefer to pinch it here at the bottom like this to make it a little bit more interesting and dimensional and not flat as just wafer paper. And I will set it aside to dry while we are working on our rice paper petals. And for my rice paper I'm going to use this rice paper or spring roll wrapper. But because I find that my rice paper becomes a little bit too brittle, so if I'm going to cut it, it cracks and it won't give me the shape I want. So you can see here, it's hard to manage and hard to make petals out of just rice paper. So what I do is I paint on my rice paper, just gently with the same conditioner to soften it a little bit. You can see it becomes translucent. And if I let it sit for a minute or so, I will be able to cut any shapes I want without breaking my rice paper. So now I can use my scissors, same as wafer paper, and cut petals one at a time because rice paper is much stickier, so it's not as easy to stack it and cut petals. So I have a few rice paper petals, but I need to soften them a little bit more because now they are still brittle and not so easy to manage. So I'm going to use my wafer paper conditioner and generously apply on both sides of my petals. And now I'll take my former and I will use it to shape my petals. Again, I will do the same thing. So I'm going to pinch it at the bottom to create more like petal-like shape and place it on my former. For some petals, when I want to make them as a center for my flower or I wanted to build my flower on this petal, I'm going to take a 26 gauge wire, make a little hook here and I'm going to pinch and bend my petal over this wire so it's going to be inserted into my petal and work as my base. Here's another one. 
system. I'm going to set this to dry. I have here my wafer paper petals and my rice paper petals and usually it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to dry depends on your humidity but if you are in a rush and you wanted to dry your petals faster you can put them in the oven on the lowest setting for 5-10 minutes just keep a close eye on this because they can burn very easily and when you have enough rice paper petals and beef paper petals you can start assembling them and what i prefer is to use a little bit of my conditioner as well or water something to make it soft and i prefer to apply a small amount of moisture here at the bottom to make it soft or to make it sticky again because uh, we are going to stack them together and we need this part to be pliable so I'm working on a few petals at a time. And for rice paper, it takes a little bit longer to absorb moisture compared to wafer paper. Because for wafer paper, I can just gently paint here. And in a second, it will become soft and pliable. And I will be able to put it together. So for my petals, I prefer to stack them. So I'm going to take maybe a few rice paper petals and one with a paper petal in between just be gentle and if your petals take a little bit longer to soften just wait for another minute or so so here is my first arrangement maybe i'll take another with a paper and rice paper petal and stick them together and then i'm going to take maybe another petal and stick all my assembled petals onto my wire petal like that. now i would like to put it upside down just create a hook and let it to dry but you can see how beautiful easy and ethereal these flowers are if you're combining rice paper and wafer paper on the same flower together and if you wanted to assemble your flower without using any wires you can do that as well just assemble your petals all together and put it on a cake thank you so much for joining me today and watching this tutorial how to make wafer paper and rice paper flowers i hope you like this technique if you're going to make some flowers when post on social media tag me the stashkina cakes i would love to see your creation and don't forget to like this video for the youtube algorithm you know that thank you again my name is anna and i'll see you next week bye bye